That was Majora's Mask, if you couldn't tell. Hey everybody, I'm back from my wilderness years. You miss me? I know I basically look the same. I came back and now I have David Tennant spiky, sticky uppy hair. So if you'll recall, if you've searched your memory, you may remember, I left about a month ago to go live in Ohio, in the jungle in Ohio, live in the woods. Complete remote area, there's no fucking technology, no bullshit distracting me. I was going to work on my art, I was going to read books, I was going to lay in hammocks, I did a lot of laying in hammocks, play golf, and uh, kind of heal and turn into an adult a bit and mature up out in the jungle. And I think I did that. I had this very silly little fantasy where I was going to order weights. I have weights here that I use, but I was going to like actually get like legitimate a lot of weights. And I was going to work out and eat healthy. And I imagine I would come back super... He can probably fill in the dots. It didn't turn out that way. <laughs> but I did read some very good books. I've come... A, I've taken away a lot from being there. I made some great art. You guys want to see my art? I'll pull it up in a second here. And it was just a really great time. And I got a lot done. And I'm really grateful for that. And I'm very thoroughly excited to work on more paintings while I'm here. Because it really reignited that passion for me. Uh, because I was able to get so much done. Anyway, here's the art. Oh, shit. Here's this first one. It's a lovely self-portrait. I have a tree in space. This one's my movie poster. Because it looks like one. And I made a boo-boo. It's really crazy to me how I left and came back and there's all of a sudden all this brand new traction to the channel. I'm very grateful for it. Thank you. Um, I don't know why everyone is watching my <laughs> Dead by Daylight VR video. I mean, it's fine if you liked it, but that was a really shit video. Um, I still stand by that the VR effect was cool and that it wasn't clickbait. I hope people didn't feel like it was clickbait. I really don't think I'm that kind of YouTuber. I hope no one sees me like that. It was really just kind of, I thought of a good follow-up video to a Depth Trickster and I was like, gimmicky fucking VR thing, but, but I actually was genuinely surprised by how it kind of worked. But I appreciate you guys not thinking that was clickbait. You guys were real awesome. Thank you for watching that video. And of course the big thing is the Doctor Who video essay. Uh, it has 5,000 views, 5.2 thousand views. That is fucking crazy and we're getting so much attention. I'm so very happy. Thank you. And I really want to pay it forward a little bit more uh, in terms of Doctor Who videos for you guys. So I'm going to I'm gonna do a couple promises here. I promise I will make more ranking videos of Doctor Who because those are very simple videos. And uh, they don't take a lot to make. And people dig them. I dig watching them for my own Doctor Who YouTubers that I like to watch. So if, if I am that to you, I can promise you shitty ranking videos. If you really care about my opinions, those will be coming. And uh, more video essays, of course. I have a long list of video essays I need to work through. And they take a fucking long time to make. But Doctor Who is on the list. I fucking promise. It's been so long since I've done a Doctor Who video essay. I just have a lot I need to do. And the, the special one is I want to try to make a tribute video. And if you'll indulge me for a bit. My fucking favorite YouTuber is... The Garrow Studios. And you may know him if you're in the Doctor Who loop. He made a bunch of tribute videos. But they're so... They're really good. They're barely qualified as tribute videos. They're super good. If you have the time, I implore you to go check out his his Doctor Who stuff and his other stuff too. He makes really good uh, videos. Uh, kind of collaging film. And uh, talking about it. And, and illustrating what exactly is beautiful about cinematography, directing, acting... Uh, everything under the sun, and, and as it come, as it uh, as it applies to film, I always pop them in every once in a while to kind of remind myself of what it is I'm doing here. Uh, and they're really, really guiding videos. They're they're really ingrained into my moral code. So I want to do something like that. There's a particular song that I want to use that is so good and will fit so well with Doctor Who. The problem is probably gonna take a long time, but you know I'll try. And if it turns out good, you will definitely see it, and you'll definitely like it. If it doesn't, this is probably the last you'll hear about it. But, yeah, whatever. Uh, and, oh yeah, and uh, Dead by Daylight. 
the fifth anniversary event is going on right now. A lot of stuff happened while I was gone. They gave Quentin a fucking race rework. He has a normal Quentin main. That is crazy to me. I have yet to see it and play with it. And they, they've reworked a bunch of the survivors and killer stuff. But uh, I need to do... I might do a live stream of the fifth anniversary at some point this week. I would like it to be sooner rather than later. And uh, of course some other Dead by Daylight shenanigans. I'm not going to completely abandon it. But I really want to try to be more ambitious following my hiatus. I want to come back and do uh, really big videos again. And uh, not kind of just stagnate. I'm really going to try to... Do the self-discipline, self-discipline, self-preservation, self-goodness. We'll see how it goes. So, uh, thank you for indulging my rambling. Hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm back, and uh, you'll see more from me. That's all I can say. Bye bye.